stress, effort, and time lost cleaning and organizing your home. With easy, inexpensive tricks is our organizing expert, Lindsay Wise. <laughs> Because they're super easy to incorporate, and uh, you've got a few of them for us today, starting with a donation box. Exactly. And yes. Let's get you having an easier life. Yes. So in every single closet in your home, or in my home at least, I either have a box sitting on the floor so that when there's something that my kids have outgrown, yes. immediately I just put it into the box. Good. If there's something that, oh, I, I, I haven't worn this shirt in a really long time, I'm just going to put it in the box. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't want to give your floor space away, what I recommend is that you take a plastic bag and yeah. hang it up on the rod. Yes. Um, and also you can see there's another bag here because when this one's full, add another one. It's ah. do the job as you go so that it doesn't become this four hour, you know, hijacking of your time where you're yeah. like, I have to go through my closet and edit everything. Do it as you go. It becomes so overwhelming when you look at it that all of a sudden you don't want to do it anymore. And Absolutely. that's where I find myself. So that's not to do as you time. go along. Exactly. Good. So I love saving microseconds. So in yeah. my kitchen, after I've cooked and there's crumbs everywhere, mm -hmm. I know I'm going to sweep the floor. Yes. So what I do is I hang this little um, dollar store broom on the side of my fridge where it's really discreet. Yep. And I like to get the crumbs on the floor first and then I grab my wet rag and I wipe really fast. Instead of like hurting the, the crumbs <laughs> with the wet cloth that gets stuck into the grout under the sink, right. you know, I'm just like, I, I know there's gotta be an easier way and yes. leave it to my brain to figure it out. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, you got it all going in order. Absolutely. Um, what about compost scraps? Is that yes, your next one? It is. Um, so when I cut my, uh, when I go to cut my produce, yeah. um, I open up my drawer mm -hmm. and this is what I see. I see vertical newsprint and I see vertical cutting boards. Okay. So I'll pull two out at the same time. Yeah. And when I'm cutting my compost scraps and you know, we'll do it symbolically today. Um, here they are. What I do is I cut them and then get the scraps on here. Mm -hmm. And instead of having a big mess to clean up, it's already contained. So oh, you, so as you're, as you're cooking, you're putting things yes, in that paper. That's right. Thank you. Got it. Um, so, yes, yeah, slide your scraps on here, yeah. and then you just pick it up yes. and Cut dump it, it in. into the compost instead of, you know, creating a second job it's for annoying. yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. I love that. What do you now, have next? This is what I have next. And... Um, I have a very small kitchen and it is such a blessing because it means everything's really within reach. Mm -hmm. And What a good attitude. Thank you. Yes, yes, I have a small kitchen and it's a blessing. It is such a blessing. You don't have any clutter in there. No. You can touch everything. Absolutely. It's good. Thank you. Now, um, this is the best compost solution I have found and I've seen them all. It's a $10 bin that you can get readily at any store. Yeah. Um, but it was missing one feature, and I added that feature myself in the form of a teeny tiny sticky Velcro um, sticker. So mm. I put one here, and imagine this is hanging on the inside of my uh, lower cupboard under my sink. Yes. So I open up my lowers, I go to um, toss my stuff, but the lid would never stay up on its own. And yeah. I was like, no, there's a better solution. <laughs> And I'm going to find it. it. Exactly. Out. Super simple. Okay, good. So such a simple thing. Yes. Um, let's talk a little bit about the used light bulbs and the batteries we all have. Exactly. You can't, you can't just throw them out. No, we have to collect them responsibly. Mm -hmm. And what I have found is every time um, I have a dead battery or a dead light bulb, there's always like, oh, where do I put this? Yes. So these are just two sort of like lousy bins I don't use anymore. Yeah. Put them under my sink way at the back and every time I have them they're there and I just dump them in. Got it. So just make the container for it so you don't get a traffic jam of like what am I supposed to do? Right. Yeah. Or they're all in your junk drawer exactly. which is so annoying. Yeah yeah yeah. Right? No, don't need a junk drawer. Okay uh, you've got reusable grocery bags oh, on yeah. here. That's right here. Um, what you really want to do with your grocery bags is store them in the car. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Store them That's in what we the do. car. So totally. all of these things, it's it's really, all you need to do is go to the grocery store two, three times in a row without having the proper bags to do this. Exactly. Right? Yes. So if you put them in the car, they're in the car, they're totally. there. Totally. So what I do is, um, or my husband and I, we empty the groceries, we put all the bags back in one bag, and we hang them on the doorknob. Same with us. Yes. Yes. Awesome, yes. Girl. Okay. Very good. So, yes. And then finally, let's talk a little bit about cleaning. Yes. Okay, so in the shower, yeah. um, I keep my shower cleaning product and my shower cleaning uh, tools yeah. in there. Okay. 
there's no time wasted, you know, oh, I have to clean the shower, let's go to the cupboard, let's get the stuff. It's already in there. So just do it now. Just do it now. While naked. Totally. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Squeaky clean. We do it all the time. Yes. All the time.